Hi, how's it going? Uh, let me adjust here a little bit. My name is Tony Fix. I am uh, also known as Blue Green Artifacts. I, as I say in my bio, I'm a Midwestern dad. I buy and sell comics, toys, posters, whatever. Uh, I've always been a collector and collected comics when I was younger. Gave it up for a while. Picked it up again when I was in college, when I found out that some of my Punisher comics were valuable. Uh, gave it up for a while and picked it up again about five or six years ago. Uh, I do, I am also a flipper. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, if we didn't care about um, what we collect, the value of what we collect, then why do you bag and board your comics? course we care about the value we hope someday to make money from that or have it cash it in for a college fund or whatever um, I do try to balance it my goal is I want to read I want to let my kids read I want to enjoy the hobby and I also want to subsidize uh, what I buy because this stuff is not cheap anymore. It's not 60 cents a piece. There are four, five, six dollars a piece sometimes. So if I do go out and buy comics on a Wednesday, some of them are for me, some of them are for selling. Hopefully the ones that I sell can on a, on a good Wednesday could even cover the comics that I'm buying to keep that I'm buying to read. So, uh, and if I own something that someone else somewhere else in the country or somewhere else in the world wants to purchase at the price that I have set, then they're getting something they want to. So there's, uh, there's really nothing wrong with it. Don't let anybody tell you that there is. Okay. Um, I am making this video cause I want to contribute to the community. I want to be part of this and, and put in my two cents. I've been watching a lot of videos for last year or so. Uh, props to Comic Tom, props to Russ at Mill Geek, props to Brian at Simple Man's Comics, a.k.a. Mr. Bolo, the whole CBSI team. Uh, Tales from the Flip Side, you guys are great. Um, uh, many, many more. I don't want to... I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I don't want to go down a road that's already been traveled down. So been trying to think of what I can contribute and what I can uh, talk about that's of value to the community, something that's not there right now. Um, I could talk about speculation. I could talk about flipping. I could talk about the new books coming out next week. I could talk about um, my picks of the week for investing or, or whatever, but um, that's been done. So I think what I'm going to focus on is kind of the minor leagues of comics. Uh, if you if you know anything about the industry right now, obviously you still have the big two or three, DC, Marvel, and Image. Um, they are the kings of the castle. They have print runs that dwarf every other company out there. But you also know that there is there has been a, a huge push in the last. 10 years or so, 10, 15 years, especially in the last five, to independent comics. There's so many smaller publishing companies out there now. There's Vault, there's Mad Cave, there's Scout, there's uh, Aftershock, there's Lion Forge, I want to say is another one. Um, there's a number of them, and they're of the highest quality. Their, their talent is excellent. Many of them are creator owned. Um, so anyways, there's a huge push to independent comics and that's part of the industry now. And that's part of speculating now and, and buying and selling and investing and, and reading. Um, what I want to talk about though, is the minor leagues, uh, a website, a, a place that I'm sure you've heard of, but chances are you've never used it before. And that's Kickstarter. Kickstarter is a platform uh, where creators can 
come up with an idea. That's all you really need is just an idea, a presentation, whatever your whatever your idea is, an invention, a book, a movie, a, a whatever, uh, something you want to make but you don't have the funds to make. You put it on this platform. Uh, and people can look at your project and they can choose to help you fund it. You set goals, uh, how much you need to publish your book or your comic book or your, your, your independent short animated film or whatever it is. Um, and when you get enough money, when you hit your goal, then your project is funded. And then it is on you to use that money to, to produce that product. And the people that back you uh, get stuff, get bonuses, get perks, get a copy of whatever you're going to make, get uh, a, the wallet that you're going to going to develop, whatever it is. Um, and so those backers, it's uh, it's like getting in on the ground floor with with a creator with uh, with something that's creative. So. Um, if you're into comics and if you're into speculating and if you're into reading and if you're into investing and if you're into uh, independent comics and creative voices and comics, you need to be on Kickstarter. You really do. So many of the, uh, of the big books, uh, I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, I, I want to show you a few of the comics, a few of the projects that I've been a backer of over the last few years. This is just a few. Um, this is one that you're going to recognize probably if you if you know anything about uh, about spec lately, and that's Kill Them All. And I'm backwards, and I apologize. Kill Them All. Uh, this is a graphic novel, not very long. Created by Kyle Starks. Kill Them All was just optioned, and I'm going to mess up the details of the option, but it was optioned. At, I don't know if it was Netflix or who. Um, there is a mass market graphic novel that is yellow uh, that started to sell a little bit, but this is the Kickstarter version. Signed by the author, only available to backers of the Kickstarter. And along with the book, this one happened to come with a number of other little goodies, uh, tattoo sticker, another set of stickers. I mean, you know, just little fluff, a bookmark, some prints. These are pretty cool. Some prints of different characters from Kill Them All, or like a movie poster for Kill Them All. Um, and this wasn't expensive. I believe this one was $20, maybe $22, maybe, you know, with shipping, $30. Bucks. Um, another one that is in the news just because the uh, Volume 2 was just released this week is Once Their Land by Peter, I'm going to pronounce his name wrong, Peter Rick. Uh, Once Their Land was released a couple years ago. Once Their Land Volume 2 just came out. This was uh, available only to backers of the first Kickstarter graphic novel. It's only three issues or two issues long. But, again, I think this was a $40 pledge to get the hardcover. Uh, but again, personally signed, and this is a this is a drawing in the book by the author. It's remarked. Uh, it's it's just really cool. You get personalized things. The creators really appreciate. Obviously, they wouldn't even get their their work off the ground if it wasn't for you, a backer. Um, so you do get perks, you do get extra little things, you do get signed copies, you do get special editions. This was uh, kind of a, an odd one, Monsters by Francesco De Sacco, um, just a little graphic novel. Again, very off the beaten path, not a typical uh, comic book at all. But 
again, if you're into independent things and, and seeing creative voices out there, definitely a, a place to view those. This is another really cool one. I've been reading the online and I haven't even cracked this open yet. Uh, this is Scurry. Scurry. This is a, and a, a hard cover in a slip case. This was a web comic that was turned into, um, that was turned into a printed comic. Again, little goodies that come with it, stickers of the characters. Um, this one reminds me of, I guess, maybe between Animosity and Mouse Guard. A colony of mice after the end of the, after the humans have disappeared from post-apocalypse. Post-apocalypse. And I recently got the volume two. Again, Scurry volume two with more goodies. Um, this is one, definitely check this out. You can, you can look it up online and, and read them online. Uh, it is, it's beautiful. It's, um, he's done all his art digitally and it's, it's really beautiful. Um, so back to where we were, Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, so if you've never used Kickstarter before, here's how it works. You register for the site. You do have to uh, put in your payment information, like a credit card or whatnot. I'm going to adjust a little bit here. My head is, there we go. Hide my bald head. Um, so you uh, you register for the site, you put in your payment information, and then you can browse. Um, you can browse the uh, all the projects out there. Let me see if I can switch between this and okay, timeout. All right, so here we are on the Kickstarter, Kickstarter website. Uh, again, they have many different kinds of projects. There's art, comics and illustration, design and tech, film, food and craft, games. Games is a big one. There's a huge community uh, for board games and collectible versions of board games. I've, I've, uh, I've purchased some or I've, I've pledged some of those, again, some for my personal use and some to sell because you get some really cool uh, Kickstarter exclusive things. Um, music and publishing, I've, I've uh, oh, and you know, something else, because the artists, because the creators really appreciate what you're doing, not only can you get signed items and or remarked items like that Once Their Land graphic novel, uh, you can get almost personalized items. Some of the artists, it might cost you a little more for that pledge level, but you can, uh, you can get commissioned artwork. You can get personalized things. Uh, I happen to pledge a children's book called the line. And I'm, I apologize cause I'm not going to remember the name of the artist or the name of the author right now, but it was for my daughter. She is six. Well, she just turned seven years old. Uh, we happened to be the very first pledge. We were the, as soon as it went live, we were the first ones to put money down. It did reach its goal. And when we were waiting for the, the book to be delivered, we, I was contacted by the author. And because we were the first ones to pledge, he wanted to put my or my daughter's name in the book. So we, I, I own a copy of his children's book and the special dedication in the beginning of the book is my daughter's name. How cool is that? How cool is that? That is so cool. Uh, another one, my one of the board games that I purchased was Carson City, of a very intricate and very like complex board game uh, about the old west and in Carson City. Uh, and they have cards of different professions in the city. And one of them was a teacher. They had a contest during the, uh, during the, the pledge drive for Carson city. And I happened to win. Uh, if you play Carson city and you pull out the teacher card, it's an illustration of my grandmother. 
who was a teacher in a one room schoolhouse way, 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 way back. And she's in the game because I, I won this contest and I sent in her picture and they added her to the game. It's just so cool. Uh, just things like that, that you could never get. You can't get stuff like that on eBay. You can't get like the stuff like that on Amazon, you know, maybe by seeing these, these creators at, at different conventions or something like that, but it's, they're just really cool opportunities. Um, anyways, back to how you pledge. If you find a project that you want, let's say if you go into, um, here's one called Cosmic Love. This is a graphic novel. It's actually an anthology inspired by the music of Florence and the Machine by Enrica Jang. It's actually a number of creators. So this is what the page looks like. Uh, they've got a description. They talk about the stretch goals, meaning if they hit different dollar amounts, they're going to add things to the pledge. On the right side of the page are the different pledge levels. Uh, you don't have to pledge a lot. You can pledge a lot. I chose into this one to pledge $20, so I get a printed version of the anthology. But you can go up different digital versions or sometimes hardcovers. Sometimes you can get copies of their old work. This uh, company, they've done anthologies for different music artists before. I think they've done Lana Del Rey. I think they did Queen. Uh, I think they did, they've done a couple more. So you just choose the level you want. You click on that level. You, you confirm your payment information. And then uh, at the end of the pledge, at the end of the time, if they've reached their goal, they will charge your credit card that amount and you become a backer. Uh, now, you have to be patient with Kickstarter. You can't expect this to show up the next week. Sometimes there are, they usually, they'll have a goal of when they want it to come out. Like this one says the goal is March of 2019. That's actually pretty darn quick considering it is now February of 2019. Uh, but these goals are not set in stone. There are, some of these things have, are going to go through the entire cycle of production. So it could take two months, six months. It could take, honestly, there's a lamp that I purchased, which when I get it, I'll show you. It's really cool. But uh, it's, it's, I think it's going on two and a half years now. Like it's, and there is a risk that it could never happen. And I've, I've had that happen where the, the whole thing failed and they did refund my money in that situation. But there is a risk and it does require patience. This is not anything that you can guarantee is going to turn around quickly. Um, but once it's, you know, once you are a backer, as soon as it's ready, the first, uh, however many hundred or 200 or whatever that are created, go straight to those backers and get delivered to you. And a lot of times you, by the time it gets delivered, you forgot that you ever signed up for it. And it's like a Christmas present. It's awesome. Uh, another cool thing about, these when it comes to comics is to to run a campaign they have to create basically a trailer and i think this is a great idea for comics in general comics should have trailers especially independent comics uh, i'll show you the one here this is the one for florence and the machines cosmic love the anthology
Hi again. I'm still learning how to use this interface, so I apologize if this is all herky-jerky weird. Uh, yeah, so that was Cosmic Love. I, I decided I'm going to maybe recommend two or three each time we do this. And uh, for now, it's Cosmic Love. And I apologize because by the time this is posted, that, uh, that Kickstarter might actually be over. But most of these, even if the the period of time has ended, they will have links and you can go on and you can, sometimes you can even purchase the exact same Kickstarter editions that were available uh, to backers. So you just follow the links and, um, and you can, obviously they're going to, if you want to buy something from them, they'll sell it to you. Even if the, the deadline is passed, it's fine. Uh, the next one I was going to show you is monkey and peach. So let's minimize myself and let's take a look at their trailer. Monkey and peach unlikely companions embark on a mythical adventure of identity, self-discovery and friendship by David Chun. Uh, they've reached their pledge. There are eight days to go on this one. So you have a little time. There's currently 128 backers. The cheapest pledge level is $15. You get a physical copy of the, of the book. And I think this one is a graphic novel. Um, some of them are in comic format and some of them are, are in graphic novel format. And your name in the credits of the book. See how cool is that? That is so cool. Thank you rewards and all digital rewards, whatever that is. Um, there is options in here. You can always make a pledge without getting a reward. I kind of like to get a reward, so I don't necessarily choose those. Um, some have just a couple pledge levels. Some have quite a few. There's shirts and prints and pins and vinyl stickers. Here's a commissioned sketch. Uh, there's four of those left. There's the full pack and some of them that are already sold out. Anyways, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see more and more information about the project, about the creators, uh, the timeline, whatever they decide to put in there, what they're going to spend the money on, the rewards. So this is what it's going to look like. Oh, no, this is a, this is a comic format. I thought it was a graphic novel. Sticker set, uh, they'll feature any of the specials or add-ons that they're gonna that they're gonna put in. Let's go back and take a look at the at the trailer. Here we go. Long ago the people of Wa lived in peace. Until one day a powerful Oni king attacked with his army of Oni and yoga, you brought chaos to the land. The heaven sent Omoto to save us. He gathered the Omiyoji and defeated the Omni King. Hi, I'm David, the writer and creator for Monkey and Peach. Hey, I'm Han Yang, illustrator and co-creator of Monkey and Peach. Our story begins centuries later. After the defeat of the Oni King and an organization of exorcists called the Oni Myodo is created to protect the world from supernatural threats. The Oni have since faded from existence and into myth. Until the first Oni seen in centuries, Saru is found and raised by a kind old potter. Years later, he must face what he is when fate brings Momo, the future leader of the Oni Myodo, to his doorsteps. Together, they set off on a fantastic journey battling other demons and monsters while learning about each other and what it means to be human. Uh, we really wanted to tell this story because it's a story about where you belong and who you are and accepting what you are, regardless of your background. And that's a story that's really important and I feel like it's a message that really connects with a lot of people. A lot of work goes into making comics, doing the concept art, to sequentials, painting, writing. On top of that, getting the book printed. So with your support, we'll be able to make our publishing goals. We'll be able to hit up conventions, meet fans. Oh, we have a really great product and a lot of great awards. We're really excited to get this. I hope you guys enjoy Monkey at Beach. All right. So this video has gone way longer than I really thought it would. I 
probably because I tend to babble or just pause uncomfortably every now and then. Uh, so let's wrap it up. I got one more that I wanted to show you. This is called The Verse. Let me make shrink myself here. The Verse Book One. I believe this one was a graphic novel by Sam Beck. Um, this is the first thing that they've created. I really like the art on this. It reminded me a lot of Fiona Staples and Saga. Uh, where's the synopsis here? Help print the first arc of Verse, a fantasy comic about a world in decline and a girl trying to find her place in it. Their goal was $5,318, and they have more than doubled their goal. They have 513 backers. There is, oh, I'm sorry, there's only eight hours to go. You're probably not going to get in on this one. But again, you can st even after they're, they're done, you can search for them and check them out on on Kickstarter, and a lot of times you can get in after the fact. Uh, the base pledge on this one that I did was $28 without shipping. It's supposed to come out in June of this year, and that gets me four prints, a soft cover book, and a PDF version of the, of the comic. At its heart, verse is a story about confronting your fears and finding a sense of belonging in a perilous world. Um, it looks like a like a, a world building uh, a world building project. I mean, I really know nothing about it besides what what you're reading here. There's no history behind it. Uh, this one they don't describe quite as many things. A little shorter, uh, but again, I think that the art looks amazing. So let's check out the trailer. Here we go. So that's about it. Again, Kickstarter. Register for it. Search for projects that you like. Pledge. Help these creators get these things off the ground. Uh, have some patience, and you will be rewarded with some really cool stuff. Some things to add to your collection or some things to sell to people who would love to have in their collection. Uh, again, Tony Fix, Blue Green Artifacts. Please click like. Please subscribe to my all of one or two videos that I have. Um, and I do sell on eBay. I sell on Amazon and I'm on Instagram. Hit me up. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys. And girls. Sorry, brain fart.